So we'd like to introduce Go Dine Together, which is back again after about seven or eight years, I think, since we last did it. So uh, this is an opportunity for uh, uh, us to get to know different people within the church family, people that we don't maybe normally mix with, and um, over a number of meals together. So the idea of this is that uh, we will sign up together in pairs. This could be with a friend or with your partner. And then you'll be put into groups of uh, eight people and each pair will have opportunity to uh, host a meal for the other three pairs and to go and have a meal with the uh, other people in the group as well. So it's a really lovely opportunity uh, to mix up with people of maybe a different generation, uh, uh, perhaps a different background, others that you don't know. So. I think Barbara might have some questions to ask about yeah, that. Yeah, Helen, what happens if I've got a small space that I live in and it's yes. difficult to accommodate eight people? Yes, well, not everyone has got a table big enough to have eight people around. So you can put on, when you sign up, you can express a preference about whether you'd like to be with six people or eight people we can't guarantee we'll have to see how the groups work out but you can you don't have to eat around a table you can eat off your knees or if your space is really too small you can go out for a picnic instead that's another another option there and what happens if i'm not a very good cook or i can't afford to buy loads of nice food yeah. so it, it doesn't need to be anything fancy at all so um you can just the idea is not really about um fancy meals that you can do it's really about actually having fun and fellowship and getting to know people so you can just eat the the normal things that you cook day by day um, it doesn't it could just be pasta and um, tomato sauce or, or something very simple it doesn't need to be fancy and it doesn't need to be expensive so uh, just uh, keep it simple so that you don't get stressed about it and finally I'd like to ask it sounds great how do I sign up well, you can um, sign up either online or there are some uh, paper forms which will be at the back of the church as well so that you can uh, pick up a form and fill, fill that in. And, uh, or talk to any one of the organisers, which is myself, Helen Thaxter, Barbara, uh, Helen Bathard and Tim as well. Brilliant. Give me a pen. It's gone out of my head. <laughs> Tim Brown. There we are. <laughs> Speak to one of us and we can tell you a bit more about it. And you just want to say something about the children as well. So with um, this uh, Go Dine Together, it's not aimed uh, uh, primarily at children, but we know that if there may be people who are under 18, if they wanted to sign up for it, then they would need to sign up and pair with one of their parents. And that would be obviously for safeguarding issues. Um, if, if you're in a group and there are families with, with children, uh, then that will be down to that individual group to decide how they want to go about that, whether they want to include children and have um, some meals in the daytime, or whether the, the, the parents of the children would like to have a, a child-free evening and get a babysitter. We have had one person who's volunteered already to do some babysitting, so uh, that can also be considered.